Hi folks, Harry Frank from Red Giant here, and in this tutorial I'd like to show you Point Zoom from Red Giant Universe. Point Zoom is very similar to a radial style blur, but instead of starting from the image and radiating outward, it actually radiates backward to a point, which is why we call it Point Zoom. So it creates some very interesting effects, even though it's a very simple plugin. When we apply it to an image, it uses the source color of the image, as you see here, and then zooms back to a point which we can adjust like this, and you can also adjust the length, like so. There's an overall intensity, and then a way to blend it with the original as well as define the, the blend mode. The mask is a power mask that you've probably seen in other Red Giant plugins, especially in Universe, but what it does is allow you to mask off the original source using start and end point. So I have point A and point B here. And in here, I can go into show mask and it'll show the mask section like this. And then hit apply. And then we just have the point zoom effect happening to part of the image. So this plugin can be very useful for motion graphics applications like this. Now, in addition to the motion graphics applications for this, there's actually visual effects applications. And this was actually the inspiration for the plugin, which was to create a sort of volumetric light that started from an image and zoomed back to a single point, in this case, where we want to have it appear like it's projecting from a single point. So if I hop to another composition here where I've done a very rough track on this image, sort of a HUD display with some scrolling text, and I've tracked things so that I've got this roughly tracked into this frame here, and then I also have a light tracked onto this point back here. This is actually just a printer cartridge, but it looked like something where light could shoot out. So what we want to do is have this image here in this frame appear as if it is being projected using some volumetric light from that point back here. So I'm going to turn off the footage temporarily and turn on an adjustment layer and apply the point zoom effect, which is under universe glow point zoom. And as you can see, we have this look as if it is being projected in uh, space and it has sort of a volumetric light that stops where the image is. Very useful. Now to get this to react in 3D space, this is a 2D effect. So to get this to link up to the light, we will have to use an expression. Very simple one, but uh, this is the light here, light number one. So in my point zoom, I will option click on the position and then I will use the pick whip to select the name of light one. So this comp layer light one. And then after that, we will use a two comp expression, which is to comp with a capital C and in parentheses, zero, zero, zero in brackets. Now this will be linked to that camera move. Also helps to sell this a little bit if you put some sort of uh, lens flare or light burst at the source of the light, but I'm not gonna do that here. Now the only other issue in terms of compositing to get this to work right is that if I turn on that background footage, the effect is going to be applied to all of the footage. So this effect here with the camera move and all that will have to be self-contained in its own composition. So I will select all those layers and pre-compose these to the to a composition and then turn on the background footage. Now cleaning this up is a matter of compositing tricks and alpha mats and all that kind of stuff, which I did in the original. Obviously I will need to take this and set this to a screen blend mode to get rid of that black that I left in there. Also, the uh, image here would need to be matted out so it looks like it's behind the frame, which I did using a, a basic track mat in here. So it does very cool volumetric light projection like this, as well as allow for some really cool looking motion graphics uh, zoom effects like this. So this is Point Zoom from Red Giant Universe. My name's Harry Frank. Thank you so much for watching.